Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is uh, just a uh, quick uh, comment on the install. I told you guys that um, I couldn't install it on my older PCs, so I tried three different machines, which all give me a, um, you know, your computer doesn't meet the minimum requirement. Uh, now, I did a different style of install and it actually gave me an error message that told me what was wrong. So the machines I've tried actually were one is a Core i3 Intel from about 2015. The other one was a Core i5 Intel from 2014. And the last one was a Core i5 Intel machine from 2017. All three gave me a um, the same message. It's impossible, you know. Your your PC is not capable of running Windows 11. Um, so I wondered what exactly was the problem, since the underlying code is Windows 10. I would have thought that it would be pretty much in the same game and kind of tell us, well, you know, this is uh, this is going to be. Um, installed on whatever Windows 10 machine you have. Now, this can change because this insider leak, um, this build leak, is from internal Microsoft testing. What happens here is that maybe they have a different security capability on it for the internal testing that will be relaxed a little bit when it is officially released. But here's the first thing that we know your computer will need to be a UEFI BIOS type computer to run this. So basically what happens is older computers have BIOS, which is the basic input output system. And those older computers, of course, the BIOS is um, what drives and what controls a lot of the, the, the things that your PC does and how it works. Then, of course, uh, UEFI, which is something that actually was released a little later, is uh, what we call Unify Extensible Firmware Interface. And this um, actually is an, a different layer of how it actually works with a system. And that the reason the UEFI was actually uh, created was simply because BIOS being very old style had some major limits that it we could not go over. But we can remove the original BIOS because it would render the computer incompatible. So BIOS exists but was also um, added a small little operating system if you want that was UEFI that actually does a lot more and controls a lot more uh, of what the PC can do. Now, this UEFI will be a requirement for Windows 11. We know that this is the minimum requirement. It, you have to have UEFI machine, uh, compatible machine for this to work. Now, the um, Unified Extensible Firmware Interface has been around for a long time. So there's a chance that even if your computer is five, six, seven years old, I got, I got a, a Toshiba here that's uh, eight years old-ish. And um, basically what happens is that it um, actually does support UEFI. It has the uh, that type of, of BIOS, if you want. So it goes back a fairly long way, which means that a lot of PCs might still be compatible with Windows 11. Now, what prevents me from installing on my machine is something else. After trying to understand what was the minimum requirement, um, I came across something that is the um, TPM or Trusted Platform Module 2.0. So what happens is that this is a chip on a computer. Most computers, modern computers, have TPM chips. But the problem is it could be TPM 
or it could be a TPM 2.0, which is the most, most recent versions. The older machines, they didn't want to install because it said, oh, you need the trusted platform module 2.0 to run Windows 11. So none of these three machines, which are older, have that capability. This is a different thing because that is a chip. That means there's no way to, for you to bypass that capability. I know UEFI will be the uh, requirement, but is TPM 2.0 also a requirement? If it is, a lot of computers running Windows 10 right now won't be able to upgrade to Windows 11 if that's a requirement. I know that Windows Server had that requirement. Windows Server, the uh, actually this year have to have UEFI and TP, uh, TPM2 modules in in servers to run the latest versions. It was a new requirement for security reasons. Um, so I, what I don't know is if this requirement will also be on a regular consumer Windows version um, or not. And if it's the case, then a lot of PCs will be left off. And that, that will know only after the official release because um, this was an internal build, like I said. And what we're going to get once we get maybe the first Insider build, for example, will be a consumer version that might not have that requirement and still work with 1.2. Um, that I don't know yet. And so, uh, but if, if they do keep that two, TPM 2.0 requirement, that means a lot of PCs are going to be left off on Windows 11. A lot of, a lot of PCs are going to have to continue running with um, Windows 10, basically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.